Charles. Hi everyone. Today we're not in my yard. We're on a bonsai dig in the field. We're in a beach city somewhere in South Orange County, California, and we're digging prostrata junipers. The first step on any dig is to evaluate the prospective uh, plant that you're going after. And this one has incredible bonsai potential because it's large, it's very old, and if you look down in here you can see this trunk is absolutely massive. Now the first step on a collection dig, once you've identified the tree you want, is to dig around it, try to get out around the perimeter of the foliage, try to take as much root mass as possible. This is actually the second tree I'm digging from this side. I have another one at home that I dug a month ago, and it's doing quite well, so even though this is a bad time of year to be doing a dig, we have to do this now because this house is going to be torn down in the near future. So let's get to the digging. Now this soil is not good soil. This is heavy clay, which is bad for digging, but good for the tree because it means we're going to have fine roots. And you can see we're already hitting roots right down in here. So this is about where we want to go with this. They don't have Okay, with the help of a sledgehammer and an iron digging bar, we've gotten our juniper out of the ground. And you can see now that this thing has an absolutely amazing trunk on it. The next step is to take as much of the old soil off as we can without harming the health of the tree so that we can ball it and burlap it to get it home and put it in a pot. We're going under this juniper with digging bars in order to try to get it out. The soil is heavy clay and it's full of stones, so it's tough going here. What we're doing is we're driving the uh, digging bars into the soil with a heavy sledgehammer here, like this. And then we try to pry on it to get it to move. We're here in my backyard now with the two trees that I collected today. They're bald and burlap as you can see. We've got one on the cart here and we have another one sitting over here next to me. Between the two, I wanted to show you this one. This is same variety of juniper collected from the same yard one month ago. Unfortunately, uh, because of the personal situation of the homeowners, uh, we were unable to do the entire dig in one day. So we had to do uh, part of the dig a month ago, and then when they were available again, we did the rest of the dig today. The next thing we need to do is go from this our bald and burlap specimen to this, the one that's been potted in a training pot and will be ready to be shaped next spring. Now right now it's the middle of July here in California. It's hot weather. We don't ordinarily collect temperate variety trees this time of year, but because we were digging at a house that's scheduled to be demolished, we had no choice. So we have to do everything we can to get these trees to be comfortable and get them to live until next spring when we can really start to work on them. So let's get started potting this one in a training pot here. The first thing we need to do is remove the burlap and we tied this with twine. And we'll just try to get this off here like this. And then we'll glove up in order to lift the tree so as not to injure it or damage it farther than we already had to to get it out of the ground. We need to reduce the root bowl a little bit more to get it to fit in the training pot. 
Now fortunately, because we were able to take a lot of foliage off the tree, we can do that here safely. Another important thing to notice is that um, this tree was originally growing in heavy clay soil mixed with beach sand and that has resulted in its producing a lot of fine roots so we have a high level of confidence that simply transferring it straight into bonsai soil is going to work pretty well with it but we have to get this mass of clay soil reduced to the point where we can get the tree into a training pot. This is a simple plastic training pot that costs about 20 American dollars. I bought it at my local bonsai nursery, House of Bonsai. And what we've done is we fitted it with drainage screens. Then we put bonsai soil in the bottom of the pot. And after some very minor trimming of the root ball on this tree, we've settled it in the pot. And now we're going to play with the angle just a little bit. You can see there's still a lot of foliage on this side. And we'd like to try to tilt it just a little bit. Now backfilling around the root mass is tricky. But it's necessary to do this this way because of the time of year. You can't bare root a tree like this it simply won't survive. So we've left a lot of the clay and sand mixture on the roots and that helps preserve the tree's moisture balance. And then we simply fill in around it with our good bonsai soil and uh, this will help it survive until next spring when we can give it a proper repotting. And you can see that I am spilling some soil here and having trouble working around the branches on this side. And that's difficult but necessary. I really can't take off any more foliage on this tree at this time because it's a collected tree. So now we'll come back around, fill in around this side. And then we'll find this home in my yard. And we're going to keep it in semi-shade until next spring to allow it to recover from being yanked out of the ground and potted. Our last task once we potted the collected tree in a training pot is to water it and make sure that we have drainage at least on the areas with the bonsai soil. And the water is draining out the bottom of the container very nicely. We also don't have any soil substance, meaning we don't have problems with air pockets. So this tree should be happy until we get a chance to bare root it next spring tilt it, prune it further, shape it, repot it again with totally new soil and get it well on its way to becoming a bonsai. Thank you for watching folks.